Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about covalent bonding. So covalent bonding is when two atoms want to share molecules so that they can have a filled outer shell. If you haven't watched the electron configuration video, that would really help to understand valence electrons and outer shells. So not, or covalent bonding happens between nonmetals, which are in the yellow on this periodic table. And these nonmetals like to share electrons with each other, and that's how they create strong bonds. So the best way, I think, to show covalent bonding is through an example. So let's do oxygen as an example. This is also known as dioxide, and this is the air you breathe. So when we go back to our periodic table, we see that oxygen is in this column. And oxygen has six valence electrons. If you don't know that, go back to the electron dot video, and it'll show you how to draw dot diagrams of all of your elements. So our first oxygen has six valence electrons. We're doing that with two. So I can draw six electrons around oxygen. And the second oxygen, again, has six electrons. Now, each of these oxygens wants to have a filled outer shell. So it likes to share these electrons. So these electrons are going to pair up and these electrons are going to pair up. And then each one will be sharing, so each one will have an outer eight, eight in its outer shell. And you'll get a diagram that looks like this. All right, so each oxygen is now happy with eight in its outer shell. We can see that this one has two or four electrons in the middle. So it creates a double bond like this. All right, and so the final product looks like this. And that's how dioxide is built in covalent bonding. So let's do one more example. Let's pick CCl4. So this one has four, um, a carbon atom and then four chlorine atoms. The easiest way to do this is pick the first molecule as your center atom. So we're going to pick carbon and put carbon directly in the middle. Now we know from our periodic table that carbon has four valence electrons. So let's draw our four valence electrons around carbon. And when we go back we see that our chlorine atom on the periodic table has seven valence electrons. So I'm going to draw a chlorine atom here. And it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. But we have four chlorine atoms. And chlorine atoms like to surround the carbon. Each having seven valence electrons. Now, atoms are very smart and when they like to covalent bond, most of the time it works out really nicely. As you can see, chlorine and carbon are gonna share an atom here. They're going to share electrons here, here, and here. Now, carbon is happy because it's sharing two here, two here, two here, and two here. So it has an outer sh filled shell of an octet. And chlorine is happy because it is also sharing all those electrons. So to draw the covalent bonding in this molecule, you just take out the valence electrons that aren't being used, and it looks like this. Alright, hopefully that helps with your covalent bonding. Good luck!